It is no secret that cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of death around the world. According to the CDC, one in four female deaths was due to some type of cardiovascular disease. This, there has been tremendous research in factors such as obesity that lead to a cardiovascular disease in late adult life. However, there is little research on early risk factors for cardiovascular disease, which became the primary motive for this study. Some early studies suggest that there is a correlation between women developing cardiovascular abnormalities later in life when having an offspring with heart defects. After this study was conducted using approximately 1 million women, researchers found that the incidence of cardiovascular hospitalization was higher for women whose infants had a heart defect. For myocardial infarction, women whose infants had critical defects required a median of 7.2 years to attain five hospitalizations, whereas women whose offspring had no heart defects required 9.8 years. Women whose, off whose infants had critical heart defects, for instance, had a 2.61 times the risk of myocardial infarction and three times the risk of other atherosclerotic disease. These results give the implication that the presence of a heart defect in an infant is associated with a subsequent risk of hospital hospitalization and may therefore be a novel risk factor for the development of maternal cardiovascular disease. This is important in the nursing perspective because precautionary measures can be taken at an early stage for women whose infants had a congenital heart defect to help prevent the risk of cardiovascular disease. As for research, this study implies that there should be further research on this topic, perhaps using a larger sample size and whether preeclampsia is significant in the presence of future cardiovascular disease.